everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I am here today to do the hashtag color combo 2023 with you guys. And if you're not familiar with this um, challenge, it was started or it's hosted by Tammy at Lou Fru Fru Studio. And there will be a link in the description box below this video where you can go over and, um, you know, check out the video and what she's doing from the start. Um, I believe she has a playlist, so you can check that out. And if she's better than I am, she's probably made it public, not private, because I just realized this morning that a whole bunch of my playlists were still private, so I apologize for that. Um, they're all public now. <laughs> um, anyway, so the color combo challenge is each month she picks like one basic color, like this month is blue, and then she'll have... Um, different color or shades of blue plus another color that's why it's called a color combo so each week you get two colors and you're supposed to you know use both of those colors in a collage a piece of ephemera I mean I'm sure you could do a painting you can do whatever you want it doesn't matter it's just you're using those two colors it's just to kind of um, grow our use of color because we we do get in our ruts and end up using the same colors all the time so anyway it's just a way to explore color. So this week is duck egg blue and lavender. So I have some scraps. I had this lavender um, textured paper I thought we could make a pocket out of. And then I have these ancient um, stickers from K and Company. <laughs> I mean, as you can see, I've used them all up. And I highly doubt you could ever find these anymore. I've had them for probably does it have the date I would say close to 20 years somewhere around there it doesn't have a date but anyhow um I have one sticker left that we're going to use and then I also found a scrap of the paper and I just uh cut it into a tag so that will go inside of our pocket and then this is um what I want to use for the duck egg blue portion is this here because that to me um reads as duck egg blue. You can see this color here is a little bit more of a green and then this up here is the duck egg blue. So that's what I'm going with because that's what I have. So we shall get started. So how you all doing today? Hope you're fantastic. Uh, and I do hope you check out this challenge even if you just go to other people's videos who are doing it by using the hashtag color combo 2023 because everybody's doing just cool stuff so it's just fun to see right so anyways and join in if you want I don't think it matters when you jump in I mean you might if you you know jump in and don't go back and do um, other combos you won't have as many combos but I, I mean that's you know it doesn't matter you don't have to have every combo so, sorry, I'm trying to reach something over here and I'm banging in the lights and all kinds of stuff. So, just want to put a thumb notch in this. Like so. I don't think I'm going to ink, believe it or not. I just am not feeling the ink with this. I could use, I don't know if I have a lavender... I mean, I know I've got purples, but I don't know. Maybe I do have a lavender. I don't know. I have. Sorry, I should have done this before. But I just thought of it just now because I was like, I don't want to put brown on there. It goes over here, out of the way. It'll be the last one I look at, I can guarantee. If I do, and I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, shaded lilac. Does that work as lavender? <laughs> I think that's as close as I have to um, lavender. So we're going to grab a little sponge and pull this one off of here. Because I was just thinking, I just don't want the brown on there. So this will be good. It'll bring out a little bit more of that. Because I, I feel like um, lavender is a little bit more, well, it's more gray, gray purple, but this is what I got. <laughs> this is 
is what we're using. I'm actually finally warming up. I've been freezing today. Not that y'all will be surprised because I think I've said that every single day. Because that's the way I am in the winter. Cold all winter, no matter how much clothes I put on. Supposed to get a big snowstorm tonight, of course, because my son is coming down. I told him to just wait until Saturday because otherwise he'll probably get stuck in a bunch of snow. He may still end up being in snow, but being in snow in the daytime is better than snow at nighttime. <laughs> so, okay. So this is a super easy pocket. It's just two pieces of paper. One, obviously, you can see is longer than the other. That is literally it. And I usually do like gussets, but these, this was it on the paper. That's all I had, so in this color. And I didn't want to make it any um, narrower by folding it or something to make gussets, so. Just gonna do it the simple way. I do love this color combination for sure. <clears throat> so let's see here. I think you can take a piece of this. Yeah, these papers I instantly thought of, even though I've had them forever. Like, this is all I've got left is all these weird scraps. But um, just because it's a great combination. And they're both on here, so... works well. So I think we'll just do a piece of this. And yes, a lot of this will probably get covered. Maybe I'll go this way. And I'm just going to use this because I want to. I mean, you really can use just art glitter glue if you don't like glue sticks. A lot of people do. Or just some type of liquid glue. I just like to use glue sticks a lot. I don't want to wipe the glue off onto this paper because then it'll make marks. Okay, and then I just have a couple of pieces just kind of to lay out some background <clears throat> for this. I kind of want to bring that one all the way up. So I think what I'm going to do is nip off this corner. Will that work? Can I line that? Oh, I got it too far. <laughs> okay, we'll do it like that. This is just Tim Holtz um, ephemera. I'm just gonna rough it up. I don't know what I did with my tiny scissors. That's what I was just looking for. Oh, they're on the glow forge course. So if you guys don't see me a whole bunch next week, or the week after, <laughs> I mean, I'll definitely be making videos. I'm just saying if for some reason there's a couple days when I'm not around, it's because I'm with my kids, because um, my son's off next week, but my daughter's off the following week, so... I mean, she's got some plans to go on a little trip close, but you know, um, with friends. So she might not be around a whole lot on her break. 
but if they are around, I will be hanging with them. Especially my son, because I just don't, you know, he's not around a lot. Luckily, I do get to see my daughter at least once a week, at least. So that's nice. Very nice. That she lives close. Take this antiques and put it down here. It's almost that duck egg blue. This is a little darker, but it's in a shade that is very close. And this is Tim Holtz as well. And I don't know exactly which kit or, you know, a set of ephemera pieces these are from because I've mixed mine all up. <laughs> So, but really any of his ephemera bags are good, good bits and pieces to use. this will even stick anymore. It doesn't feel very sticky. I'll probably add some tape. It's just kind of getting it unpunched from this background here. Yeah, I hoarded these because I thought they were pretty neat. I think I'm going to do something kind of like this. And I know I'm covering stuff up. But that's the way of it. pretty not really my style so much anymore but at one time I thought that it was the best since sliced bread you know I mean I, I still like them they're beautiful but it's just funny how you what you just thought was <clears throat> the bees knees right over just because I like it. You can tell I like purple because I am um, definitely am leaning much heavier on the, <laughs> the lavender. This is really more of a kind of plum in there but those are definitely a lavender. using some washi but I don't have <clears throat> I would like more green I don't really want to add more purple but I am gonna put this on here just for a little something down on this one because I didn't I 
I definitely don't have a... Oh, I do have the speckled egg. We might use that spray just for a little extra. Hold okay, on just a So minute. I do have the speckled egg. Maybe this is a little more green. I don't know. <laughs> it's the closest I had. That is the only problem when you do these challenges. Sometimes you think, oh, I'll easily find stuff, but I went through lots of stuff, and I did not have a whole lot of these colors, either one of them. That just goes to show, don't use it very much. Put a big old blob on that. Put another one, and another one. <laughs> the nice part about using what I've used is I don't have to worry about getting it on a face. Like, <laughs> usually I always have to cover the faces because I end up getting it like right over their eye or you know, their nose or whatever. All right, I am going to go stitch around this and get it dry. I might do, do we want a little splash of water? I don't think so. I'll be right back again. <laughs> okay, so I came in closer so you guys could see a little bit better, but I stitched around the tag and added a little piece of fabric up there and then I also stitched around this which my sewing machine hated for some reason. I've stitched through massive thick amounts of stuff with no problem but you can see over here it lost its little marbles. Maybe it was the um, texture of the paper I don't know but anyway that was real weird and it just would not it did not want to do the corner so I don't know what happened but anyhow they're done. <laughs> The, the, what is it called? Uh, Robin, or er, duck egg blue and lavender. Okay, so those are the colors for this week. So if you haven't made your items yet, get out there and make them. All right, guys, I hope you have an awesome weekend, and we will chat again on Monday. Love you guys. Bye now.